What is up people? We are back on MTGO for a new draft. Today I'm drafting Shadow Moor, Eventide again. I think next draft are gonna be Eternal Masters, but I wanted to do uh, a last one of these. They're just a very, very sweet set again. Uh, I encourage you to try it out if you haven't uh, done that yet. Either way, uh, Rushing is pretty solid, just as a 4-4 body for 4 mana, it's decent, and then the ability is not so relevant, but you know, it's a decent body, you can play it easily in any green deck and in any red deck. Uh, the uncommons are pretty mediocre, I mean, Torrent of Soul is not the worst, but I think it's worse than Rushing. Uh, Briar Berry Cohort is fine, but not great. Same with Continue to Dream. Cinder is fine. Sentry is fine. All in all, that pack, there's nothing too strong, and Russian is just probably one, probably the best card. I mean, there are a decent amount of packs where uh, you will find the cards that better than Russian, but I don't think the last pack was uh, one of these packs. Alright, Trip News, very good card. You can play it in any deck, it's very difficult to deal with. And you can, you know, just get rid of their best attacker forever, or, you know, you can use that offensively too, which is just a very, very good card, all you know. Two mana is a decent amount, but uh, it's still very good. Uh, I guess Safehold Duel would be the next best option for me, it's a good green card. The spawn is fine, but kind of slow, but it, eventually it will win the, win the game. Not sure it goes so well with a uh, first pick rushing, though. But either way, Trip News is, is pretty easy here. And it's pretty nice because I, you know, I, I, I picked a, uh, an artifact and a green or red card that's also easily easy to splash. I would not splash just for rushing, but it's two cards that are very easy to cast no matter what I end up playing, so it's, it's kind of sweet. Um, the attack is pretty weak. As a Tau is fine, but nothing too special, it's not great. Uh, the cohort here is fine, but again, not super exciting. Uh, I don't know, there's just not much. Could see picking Ezetau. Not a huge fan of that, though. Mm, yeah, I guess it's the best option. It's just not very exciting. Probably better than some Somnomancer. The Axe Shark is fine, but not great. Not a huge fan of Sotwaf Gambit. Yeah, I don't know. I think I should just pick the cohort. I don't know. I'll go with Ezetau and we'll see if those colors are open. But it's very unexciting. Okay, that's another pretty weak pack. There's not much going on in those packs. I think I'm gonna pick Medicine run Runner. If I end up green, it's good for rushing. If I'm, you know, white, it's nice for for Ezetau. It's kind of a mid ground pick. It's a decent two drop that will fit most decks. Uh, Wisp are fine, but I might not be white, I could still be green. Elsewhere Flask is decent, but not too exciting. I'm not a huge fan of Runes of the Deus, by the way. Uh, I, most of those auras are kind of fine, because they, they will win you the game, but you, you still have the chance to get 2 for 1, and this one costs 5. It will often win you the game. I mean, on rushing, it just kills very fast. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna pick a, a solid two drop, though. Okay, this pack is much better than the last one. There is a Silk Band Fairy, which is a very, very good card. Uh, slightly clunky with Trip News, because if you have both on the battlefield, then spending four mana each turn to do your thing is, is kind of a lot, but it's a very good card. Definitely better than Marrow. It goes pretty well with Ezetau. Um, the elves are fine, but nothing too special. Same with Prigan and Gloom Widow. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear cut uh, fairy. Blue white might be open. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Pilipala is interesting if I try to play the combo deck with um, Power of Fire and the pre Presence of Gong. And I, I did open the, the the green aura, so I could be white green, uh, Pilipala combo. Not too, too happy about that. I mean, uh, to want to want to be happy with Pilipala, I think you have to be uh, red green. Otherwise, it's not that good. If you don't have power fire, not a huge fan. 
Blessing is a good white card. I could pick the Scarecrow though. I do have a blue-white creature, a white creature. Could end up in blue-white. I think I'm gonna waste that. Um, pretty good card if you are blue-white, obviously. There's another one. Another Blessing and another Pilipala and other Watchers. I think it's exactly the same pack, almost. Um, I'm gonna go with another Scarecrow. I think it's pretty solid. Okay, and now I'll, I will I will pick Blessing. Okay, so we are mo most likely white and then maybe white green, but white blue would be better for the Scarecrow. Snare is a very very good sideboard option. I'm just gonna pick that. There's nothing else for me. Uh, okay, Fist is a good option. If I end up green, it's also very good against my Fairy, so I might as well cut that. Even if I don't end up playing it. I mean, I will most likely never main deck that, but could see that thing being a good sideboard option. Alright, well, we have quite a lot of options here, actually, because I have three artifacts. And then, well, a bunch of creatures that I could play in a white deck. Some that I could play in a green deck. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the packs are not so exciting, but we, we got eight playable spells. And we could go in different directions, so it's not bad. Probably picking Cohort here. I'm surprised it will. I mean, that card is not great, but that, the pack was so weak that, you know, just felt like one of the top three cards of the pack, so... Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, the Wisp Wheel, that's that's sweet. Uh, most Wisps, I mean, all Wisps are playable just because you can... Um, Spriggan is pretty decent, by the way. Maybe Green is, is also open, since those two wield. Um, what I was saying is that all the Wisps are playable because they just cycle, and even if the effect is not does not really matter, they will still be good. But the white one is actually better than that because it can give you a kill, it can save uh, some damage. You know, it's 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 most of the time it's going to be better than just you know pay one mana to draw a card. So kind of good. Happy to to get that back, and I mean. I don't have any reason to be green, I don't think all those cards are like super strong, but I could be green, I mean. Uh, the thing is, if I end up white green, the Scarecrow are likely to not be very good, so we'll see. Okay, Ram Gang is probably the best card here. Uh, I guess the Crag Trades could be sweet for the Scarecrow and Ezetau, but it's just too weak, I think. I think I might just go into the, the green direction here. Another option would be to pick Marauders, which lets me be a, a bit more open. Because Ramgang is going to be fairly hard to cast if I don't... Uh, if I'm not actually red-green. Uh, because triple green... It's a very, very good card, though. I mean, I, I could be pretty heavy on green. Like, I have six cards only in green, so... It's not out of question. I could also go green blue in theory because next pack there's gonna be green blue cards. I think I'm gonna go with Ram Gang. The card is just very very good. We'll put constraints on my mana base, but it's such a good card. I think it's worth it. Um, probably picking Morsel Hoarder here. It's a very fine six drop that I do like. Um, Knight is kind of nice. But I think I still have incentive to go white, and I don't really want to pick a, a card in another color, even though I could be. The, the issue if, if I go red green is that I lose quite a bunch of playable potentially. Last Breath is not something I like too much. Again, that pack is pretty weak, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, yeah, Morsel, Morsel Hoarder is fine, it's not very exciting, but fine. Uh, if I. Yeah, I don't know. Probably picking the Rider, actually, it's a very fine card if I'm white-green. Not a huge fan of the Oak, especially if I'm not red-green. Those packs have been pretty weak. I will not try to play Reaper King. Gouger is good, but... Yeah, unless I'm mono-red, I cannot really play Gouger alongside uh, Ram Gang. Even if I'm red-green, you know, it's gonna be super hard to cast. Green Blotter is very weak, I think. And I'm not really blue. I mean, I could, but uh, I will probably not be blue. Yeah, I think it's Rider. Another Gouger. Someone is getting a pretty sick red 
black deck potentially here. Probably picking another rider. Um, it's fine. I mean, mentor is fine, but I I have another six drop. It's not a g great card. Yeah, I think it's it's gonna be rider. All right, and at that point, I'm kind of moving out of the potential, you know, white blue option. Bast Bastion fixes for my mana. It's also very good at letting me cast uh, Ram Gang potentially, so I kind of like that. Um, I don't think I, I really need another six drop that match uh, right now. This is I do like that card, but I, I'm not really red. Snare is more of a cyber option. Yeah, it's pretty much between the Sentry, which is a decent two drop, and the Bastion, which is good fixing and really helps me with the Ram Gang. I think because I have the Ram Gang, I'm I'm gonna pick the Bastion. It's close though. Gnarl Effigy is not bad. It's kind of slow, but it's, it can be good. I think I'm just gonna pick Spriggan though. It's a decent three drop. My deck looks rather aggressive. I n I would need to find other two drop to to be truly beat down, but I have two Spriggan, two Riders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Um, okay, that pack is pretty awful, I think. Not a huge fan of the Wayfarer. There's just not much here, honestly. I guess there is a slight chance that I play the Oak, even though I'm not a huge fan. Ooh, Safe Old Duel is not bad. I mean, I don't really need 4 drops, but... I mean, there's nothing else, so... I guess it's gonna be that. Uh, I guess giant baiting is the card I'm the more likely to play. I would need to be a bit more aggressive before I want that, but could happen. Okay, probably just cutting the cohort, which is the best card here. I don't really care about anything else. Medic is. In some matchup, it could be decent, and you know it's main deckable if you like five drop. It's kind of a lot of mana for what it does. It's 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 pretty anno annoying to face though, pretty annoying card to face. Okay, sabotage is a good option for the sideboard. Shield there is very very bad. I think just. Uh, the opposite version in Lower Wind that boosts attacking creature is good, but this one you just don't you you don't want to stand there and try to use that. I don't know, it just doesn't feel good enough at all. So I guess I only have the Riders and the Wisp that are um, white. Uh, but I could go green blue because I could play the fairy and as a town in a green blue deck pretty easily, especially if I have a few random white cards that I cast off my green mana. Okay, if I'm blue, I could play the wisp maybe. I mean, I'm thinking about green blue just because, as you know, uh, next pack is uh, eventide and uh, one of the color combination in eventide is uh, blue green. And the other one is green black, which I don't really have any reason to go for that. I mean, if I open a really, really good green car, green black card, I could see that happening. It's not very likely to happen, though. What does that do? Oh, it's just get another combat step, combat phase, I guess. Never mind. With retrace, it's pretty annoying though to face. I would assume. Pack seems very, very, very weak though. Monstrify is not bad. It's not exactly what I want, but it's not bad. Abolisher is not that good. Banishing Knack is pretty good, but I, I'm not really blue yet. Could pick the Mimic if I stay in white. It's not very exciting though. Soul Rape is very good card, by the way. I don't know, that pack is just... Yeah, there's not much. I mean, Monstrify is a sorcery, so... It's 
just doesn't feel good enough. Nettle Sentinel, I don't think is good at all. I don't like anything here. I'm gonna pick the Mimic in case I end up white. It's gonna be decent to drop, but it's not very exciting at all. Ooh, Bliss is a very good reason to be white. It's just a very good card. Pacifism, and you know, you gain life. Probably just gonna pick that. I do like the Airy Oofies. I'm not sure how you should pr pronounce that in English, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you. I don't know. Oof. I don't know. I think it's. I don't know. Oofies, maybe, but I'm not sure about that, that's for sure. Mimic would be a decent two drop, I guess. Not very exciting, though. But Bliss is, is just great, so. I think it's fairly easy pick. Also, I don't have a lot of free involved, so I could use that. Ooh, what is that? What is that thing? Okay. <laughs> the drawing is pretty funny, if nothing else. Don't think it's. I mean, it's probably playable, but it doesn't look very good. So if I have two planes, I get a 2 2 and a 1 1. It's not bad. It's not very exciting either. Um. thing is so good. So worst case scenario it's a 2-2 two -two that blasts a creature for 2. But this is the worst case scenario. That card is very very good. I don't think I can go red green though. Especially when I just picked a Bliss which is around the same power level as that I would I would say. Yeah. There's nothing. I mean probably picking a Mimic here. Not sure which one, but it's, yeah, not much that I yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of three drops, so the mage is not too exciting. Selkie is good, but I don't think I will play that. I mean, I guess it's very similar to the Ram Gang. Ram Gang is I think Ram Gang is better though. I'm probably gonna pick the throw. It's pretty annoying card to face. Persis and Weezer on a two two for three. It's just you know, it's just annoying. You will often get uh, maybe done a 2 for 1 out of that, but something like a 1.5 1 uh, sort of value, so it's kind of good. Alright, um, probably picking just another Mimic to add some 2 drops to the deck. So had I taken another blue-green Mimic, it would be better, because I would add you know, twice the same Mimic, I guess. But now I'm probably just gonna pick that one, hoping the other one could wheel. And yeah, that's gonna be that. I mean, just a 2 1 for 2 basically, nothing too exciting. That thing is so, so good if you are in those colors. I don't think I will be able. I mean, I will have to make a choice with my mana base, and I think my choice is gonna be to make it fairly heavy on green. But I cannot f make it fairly heavy on white and on green, so I will have to choose between playing this or Ram Gang, and I think it's gonna be Ram Gang just because it's easier to be more into green because I have more green cards overall. I'm still gonna pick that just because I don't want to face that card and because there's nothing else that's interesting for me in this pack. Yeah, there there is just nothing for me. Very very good card though. Holy crap! Alright, Salt Snuffer is very good. Can't really play that. I'm probably gonna cut it because I, again, it's not really a card I wanna face. Not a huge fan of the Skull King. I mean, it's fine, but. Pfft. I do have enough 3 drop. I don't really need that. Ooh, Hag is good. And Elder is very good too. So this is a Grave Digger. And it's a good creature with a very nice ability. Um, both can get you a 2 for 1. I mean, the Hag is more likely to get you a 2 for 1, but it's slightly weaker and also slightly harder to cast. I guess I'm gonna be pretty heavy on green, so probably picking Hag, it feel, feels like a slightly better card to me. Um, but the, the Elder is very, very good too. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. I guess this card could kill me, in theory. So yeah, I'm definitely green-white now. And I do have 21 playables. Which is a 
bit light. Hopefully I'm wheeling something at some point. I mean, that thing seems very good. Again, the medic is playable. Uh, oh, there's another mimic here. So now I wish I had taken the <laughs> white black over the blue green. Alright, whatever. I, I do have two green black cards, so it's kind of nice that I have the, um, this one. And I will the other blue green one. Okay, that's good. Probably cutting the white black one. Or I guess the white reds. I mean, they are pretty much the same. I guess. I think it's a decent sideboard option. If there's a very aggressive black red deck. Um, yeah, the deck honestly is not looking very good. I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is, I think the pack were pretty weak. And we just got a pile of creature with a very few reinvol. Doesn't look good. It doesn't look awful though. I mean, there's a curve. It's rather aggressive. It's not great, but it's not like it's not awful for sure. I'm probably cutting the Skull King at that point. I'm just gonna try to curve out creatures into other creature. Maybe win the late game with uh, my riders. And yeah, that's pre. <laughs> Yeah, that deck is just not very exciting, but again, I think the pack were very weak and I don't think anyone is going to have a very, very powerful deck here. Second, uh, I have a good curve actually. Uh, I have a very, you know, especially regarding creatures, it's on, not only spells, I have I think 5-2 drop, 5 uh, regarding creatures, 5-2 drop, 5-3 drop and 5-4 drop and some... I don't know that I could see that deck doing fine if uh, if indeed as I think most players have a pretty weak uh deck. I'm just gonna check something. Yeah, all of my mimics I mean the other option is also white. I'd rather not have too many early white cards because I will have less white than green in my deck, but I don't think I have an option. And I think I still want that. I mean, I could see playing the Skull King over Mimic, actually. Skull King can boost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 13 of my creatures. It's not bad. Maybe I should do that. Also, uh, yeah, having a, a white 2-drop is kind of clunky when I want to be rather heavy on green for the, the Ram Gang. And then I have a few white... I mean, this is not... This, this I can cast off... Green. If I if I still cycle that later on in the game, it's not bad, and I don't have that many white cards early on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Probably add five planes, <clears throat> and I g I can go up to six. I think ten forest, which is kind of eleven with the bastion. Uh, I will not very often cast the ram gang on turn. Three, but I think it's realis I can realistically cast it on turn four, and I should not have many issues casting my white spells. All right, so that's gonna be the deck, the mana base. Um, yeah, it's not you know it's not the deck I, I look at and I'm like, oh great, very very strong. But given the p the general power level of the draft, I think it's fine. And again, it's a decent curve, some pretty fine creatures. So we'll see how it goes. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. And I see you in a few minutes for round one.